What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I have something a little strange. Now I picked up on this uh, only yesterday. I don't know if anybody else has noticed it or not but it is really intriguing to me. Now Game Informer covered the Taken King and dropped a lot of information a couple of days back. Um, on their website they had basically about a minute and a half of footage from the Taken King going through all sorts of weapons areas, maps, whatever, etc, 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 we all know this. And I noticed something for about three seconds in the trailer, and I'll show you guys that in a second. Now we all know of the Thunderlord, the exotic heavy machine gun that deals that arc damage. Actually a really good weapon, not that many people use. Uh, obviously everybody who uses the exotic heavies always go with that Galahorn or something else. The Thunderlord don't really get a mention, but it is actually a decent weapon. One I actually know for a fact Bungie are certainly proud of and really enjoy using themselves. Now we know it deals arc damage like I said and this design in itself is very exotic indeed giving us a little bit of arc pulses, a little bit of electricity going all over the weapon looking absolutely sexy as hell it really does. Now take a look at this and like I said this is a few seconds of a weapon being used from the Game Informer trailer of the Taken King or the Game Informer's footage of the Taken King. Now we blatantly see a weapon here that is absolutely identical to the Thunderlord in every single damn way apart from two things, the colour of it and the fact that this one deals solar damage where we all know the Thunderlord deals arc damage. But the weapon in itself is absolutely identical and I will compare the two on screen. Now you can see the iron sights are exactly the same, the design of the weapon is exactly the same, everything on both weapons is in the exact same place. Now we all know Bungie are guilty of reskinning weapons but they are not guilty of reskinning exotics. So what does this mean? Does this mean when the Taken King drops we will be getting a solar version of the Thunderlord? Or does it mean we will be able to change the elemental damage somehow on exotic weapons? Or does it mean we will be getting a new weapon coming to the game which is not an exotic, is not the Thunderlord but just looks absolutely identical to it, deals solar damage and it's just another reskinned weapon? I have absolutely no idea but there's no doubt this looks absolutely identical to the Thunderlord exotic heavy machine gun but like I said you only see a few seconds of it but it is identical in every single way apart from colour and the solar burn. Also like the Thunderlord gives off that little bit of arc electricity this thing's giving off solar as you can see the weapon looks like it's on fire. Me personally I don't think it's going to be a reskinned Thunderlord. I think we may have the ability when the Taken King drops to somehow change up elemental damage on our weapons. I don't think Bungie would introduce the feature of reforging exotics. I mean that don't make sense to me as you would lose the exotic perks that they come with. But definitely if you could change elemental damage on exotic weapons that would be absolutely epic. But I just don't know. I just really do not know. This could be another version of the Thunderlord just deals solar damage. I just don't know. But guys, what do you think? Let me know down below in that comment section. Do you think this is the Thunderlord? Do you think it ain't? Do you think it's a different weapon? Do you think we'll be able to re-roll exotics? Do you think we'll be able to change the elemental damage on exotics? Let me know down below in that comment section. But you cannot deny that this weapon looks absolutely identical in every single way, apart from colour to the Thunderlord. But guys, thanks for stopping by as always. Leave your opinion down below in that comment section, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Get it right.